bro. <laughs> All right, shalom. 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 Before we begin, we want to give our praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem Rakakodash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to the I.K.M. teaching his word, beautiful accordance and truth sincerity. Back out another week, the prophets had a downfall of America and to wake up the so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans to who we truly are. Because the Lord, Yahweh Shai, who are ignorantly called JC or Jesus Christ, is about to make his return, man. I'm going to pass to the speaker. Uh, uh. Uh, so we're back. Uh, you know, the weekend we prophesied the downfall and destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America, and the future. Okay, which is a major prophecy that's going to be fulfilled, man, whether you Israelites believe it or not. Okay, it's going to be fulfilled because that's what the Lord said, and the Lord is not a liar. All right? This land that we're living in, all right, is a very confused land, hence the word Babylon, land of confusion. What is that land I'm talking about? America. Right, the United States of America, which is doomed to be destroyed, man. And we're living in a times in these last days where everything is upside down, everything is confusing because the people who are in power right now, who's in power right now? Esau, Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay, that's why everything is out of order, that's why everything is out of place, that's why there's so much turmoil, that's why there's so much diseases as well. Okay, that's why there's so much damn confusion, man, because the devil is ruling. This earth, all right. That's why children are out of order. That's why men are out of order. That's why the laws are out of order. The, the animals are out of order. Everything is out of its state. The women are out of order, man. All right, and through the spirit, all right. The Lord, the Lord had it. The Lord, the Lord has it. Where you know we're gonna go into the women, man, because it's been a minute since we tapped on that subject in the spirit, man. Okay. Now, with the, the, the pride of women too right now has deceived you guys thinking that you guys have it all figured out, but you don't know shit. All right? And the Lord's about to come and humble a lot of you Israelite women. And a lot of you heathen women too as well. But this message is for the people right here on this side. The so-called black Latinos, the Native American men and women who are the biblical Israelites in these last times. And that's always been the biblical Israelites, all right? But this message is for y'all. Okay? So we're going to dive right into the scriptures and no one in this uh, camp will be edifying to your brothers and few sisters that watch. Uh, uh, this is the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 32, uh, verse uh, 2. It says, And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. See that? So... That's a prophecy that's going to be fulfilled very soon, that a man shall be a hiding place from the wind. What does that mean? First of all, they're talking about, about a lot of civil war in mainstream media. Okay, you hear it now in the movies, you see it now on the radios. You see it on the, on the mainstream headlines. Because there is going to be a civil war that's going to happen in America. And there's going to be a lot of bloodshed, a lot of death, a lot of destruction, a lot of famine, man. And that's, and that's what the wind is talking about in that scripture, man. There's a lot of death and destruction that's about to come real yep. soon. Judgment. Judgment. Beautiful you said that, brother, because what's going to be the hedge of protection during those times? And you don't got to believe us, but 
it's going to be a man of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that's going to be that hedge of protection during those times, man. All right? Yeah, you can hold, you can hold, you can hold that. Okay, because a man of the Lord is going to have to be what's going to be protecting you during those times. And right now, the woman has a, the woman has everything in her mind set up that she don't need a man. Why? Because she lives in a state, in a society, which Esau has, has engineered it to be in favor of the women. All right? Services, such as plumbing services, all right? Such as car services, such as overnight 24 hour 7 policing services exist and all that's for the women but all that it's going to be done away with man and the man is going to have to be what's going to be after protecting during those times okay a man of the lord i got uh, isaiah chapter uh, 13 and verse 11 and i will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Verse 12, it says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of a fair. That's talking about men of the Lord, all right? The Israelite man, that the Lord's going to create them more precious than fine gold, which is going to be refined, what, through the Holy Scriptures, man? Yep, for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and ultimately these men are going to be manifested as the protectors and as a different type of entity of a man that's going to be shown in these last days, man. When our hell breaks loose in America, okay, in Jacob's trouble, all right, while all hell is breaking loose, women getting ravished, all right, children being eaten up, women being sold and traded as commodity, all right, the men of the Lord are going to be walking, looking untouchable, man. Because they're gonna have that divine protection. Okay? That's why your ass need to repent. Alright? This message is for the Israelite man and woman. Okay, but right now we're in a state where America's proud. This is the haughtiness, right? That prideful ass spirit in America. Because Israelites got it all figured out, right? The women got it all figured out, the men got it all figured out. The Lord's gonna figure you out if you don't repent. Alright? But that's why. The Lord is going to have to send his men out to be that hedge of protection, man. Okay? And they're going to be the ones that are going to be showing us to be part of the elect, man. Yeah. Go ahead, bring First Timothy chapter 5, verse 6. It says, But she that liveth is in, in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Uh, our women, like what the brother was saying earlier, they live in pleasure, man. Everything at the, um, the click of a button. Comfortability, man. Yep. All right? And that's going to play in their demise where... When our hell break loose, they are going to be stuck. All right, unless the Lord, you know, which we already know what you're speaking on, give them a man of the Lord. All right, which once again, that's going to be their protection, man. When our hell breaking loose, mind you, the women don't got no mic. All right. The only reason why she's so called have fire, she thinks she has mic is because 911. Yeah, 911. You got, the, you got the law of this land to help her. Mm -hmm. yes. But when all hell break loose, there's no law, it's lawless. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're gonna, the Lord is going to put that. Like the brother said, everything's in the correct order. Where women's gonna be under a man at that time. Right, right. All that proud and able to wear, you know, be naked and walk around and think nobody can touch you. That's coming to not very soon. Yep. Right, yeah, that. Go ahead. The second edge 16 and 33. Mm -hmm. The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. Mm -hmm. The woman shall mourn having no husbands. Mm -hmm. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the war shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. Uh -huh. So it's already it's already more women than men like, in the world. Alright? So imagine all these men are going to war. Right? There's gonna be a draft. Yes, women will be drafted too, but so men going to war and dying. Is that any day? Say all hell break loose. With the man, the man might say it's time to stay here and put let me go look for food and stuff like that. Yeah. So he might not come back. Right. Exactly. So it's gonna be a lot of stuff like that. You know? right. yeah. Scripture speaks about how uh, 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 the men of Egypt, being spiritual Egypt, aka America, they're gonna be as women in those days. So imagine if men are gonna be like women, what, what the women gonna be like? Yeah, yeah. And, and women, they follow in the in the, in the, in the vibration of a man. So uh, when when let's say when, when this violence, so when this violence and a man looks like he has everything, like he he looks straight and he looks in order and he doesn't look out of, out of place, out of element, the woman is going to, you know, she's going to feel protected. 
But once the man bugs out, right. imagine the woman. They're already bugged out as they are. Right. And uh, Salaki, because earlier you asked me if I have more in uh, Isaiah 32. Right. But I, I, if it was more, but it so on. So on. The, the Spirit helped me that that was my next precept. The Spirit helped me to go to it, and I realized. So Salaki, but this is uh, Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 9. It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at that are ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Yeah. They shall lament for the teeth, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Yeah, see, and, and what's, what is that careless woman that the scriptures are talking about? All right, the Israelite woman, so called black woman, so called Latina woman, so called Native American woman. Now, when you start looking at the state of these women and how they operate in this society, it's, it's, it's on, a, on a wicked level, on a demonic level, man. All right, they're whores. They want to put on and walk around in, 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 uh, in clothes that they look very uh, provocative. provocative clothes to water. You know, very tight clothes, very short shit. You know, they're walking around in underwear pretty much. Because yeah. these women are careless, man. Yeah, they don't give a damn. Yeah. Right. Sometimes they wear see shirts and, you know, see their right. nipples. Straight right. hard them. Yeah, they dress yeah. them like harlots. But it makes sense. Yeah, hard yeah. 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 What land they are in? Land of the heart. The heart. Yeah. Land of the heart. Yeah. The water, brother. Because, yeah, and, and that's how they're operating. They're operating as hardens, man. They would, they could be with a man for ten years, and one day to another, they want, they, they, they just get a change of heart, and they want to go ahead and jump on another rod. Yeah. That, that's a careless woman right there. And that show you that that the scripture says there's no new thing under the sun. <clears throat> when when Judah, uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Meyer. Uh, Tamar. Tamar. Tamar, right. When Judah saw Tamar, in that moment, he, he, he mistaken her for a harlot. Right, so why would he mistake her for a harlot? Because the way she dressed, her attire, right? So that's what the brother's talking about. When you, If you carry yourself like that, that's how a man will perceive you to be. Right. That's why there's laws in order on how to dress. That's why that's a lot of you women stink, because you don't know how to stop putting on tight clothes. Yeah. Our woman don't know how to put on dress. You don't let your fucking face breathe because y'all's got it caked up with makeup. All right, your brain always hurts. Y'all's you, got a goddamn headache because you can't stop taking Advils. Is that hair head? Your scalp doesn't breathe because y'all's got a weave on it. All right. Oh, uh, you can't go three hours without eating because you start getting demons on you because you can't stop eating pork shrimp and crab velocity because you got damn parasites in your stomach. That's why you need to adhere to the word, man. That's why the Lord has us coming out here telling you to repent. Come back to Yahweh Shai. So, that's, now, that's why, why the Lord has certain things laid out in um in order, alright? Same way as how you eat. Or not, because because we're really talking about um you know they eat all these other type of abominations. Alright, it's gonna lead to um all types of pestilence and fucking um diseases and all problems within your body, now you're eating all types of shit, you're sick. But you know, our women don't give a fuck, man. They eating seafood, boils every goddamn week. All right, eating the, even right. eating the roaches of the sea and shit like that. All right, they put this shit at delic delicacy. All right? Right, right. <laughs> they, 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 they for that. They say, oh, he, he giving me money, I'm gonna give me a seafood boy. Right. All right? If I may add two, oh, if I may add two, the Lord about to take all them damn benefits away, man. Yeah. Your food, your makeup, yeah. your tampons, all right, your Advil pills, oh, your clothes, yeah. all that is coming to an end because this yeah, society is about to stop operating, man. I got, I got government assistance. assistance. Government assistance, the EBT. That's how, that's how the nigga woman is all the time. That's why she looked down upon the nigga right. man, all right? Because Esau had the spirit of the neighbor. He gives her food, a sugar daddy. A sugar right. daddy. But you got to understand, we're going into war. So the first thing when we go to war, what you do? You cut off all those government assistance. You got to reallocate the funds. You got to reallocate Yeah, correct. So Keisha's going to be on her ass when it's over. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got to, to the brother's point real quick. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 16. Moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched, uh, stretched forth necks 
and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go, making a twinkling with their feet. Basically, you, you be walking, you see her with her man, she locked eyes with you. Like, yeah. damn, bitch, you don't respect your man? Right. And really what it is, man, the woman is, she's fucking attention hungry. She goes to whoever's going to whoever give her the most attention, that's what she's going to pay to. Man. Yeah, because they're opportunists. <coughs> that's, that's the nature of the, of the Israelites. Well, not the nature, but that's what the curses are uh, showing in our women, man. Because, because uh, you know, we rebelled against the heavenly father. But that's also a product of this uh, society too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Or the best. Yeah, Woman did with hypergamy. Yeah, she hypergamy. And, and there's also a prophecy which, uh, which I think is Amos 7 and 7 where it says, Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city. These things prophesied. That's why they say, right. those, oh, you know, put a gift, um, liberty together, bro. You put a, um, right. give, it's a, I got it right here. I'm gonna read it real quick. It says, uh, Surat chapter 25, verse 25. It says, uh, I'm gonna start verse 24. It says, of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all died. All right. It says, give the water no passage, neither a woman, woman liberty to gather abroad. I mean, to gather abroad. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, um, I'll stop by verse 25. All right. Y'all limits would be in the house, man. Right. For the guy in the house. Because when we at work, how many fucking work husbands? She, she got a whole man in the house, but she got a work husband. Yeah. Right, because she right. wait, she see him all days and getting right. catching feelings. Right. And she got a gym husband too. She got gym, everything. Right. 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 And you know what? Gym boyfriend. And also too, uh, when, when it says what, give a woman no liberty. Yeah. yeah. When you look at that word liberty, it goes to freedom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't really give a woman freedom to do whatever she wants, man. All she's gonna do is she's gonna take that shit, she's gonna run with it, uh, yeah. and you're gonna be looking like, damn, what, what the hell is wrong with you, boy? This is the nature of a woman. Right. right. When, you, when you really deal with a woman. You gotta treat her like she's one of your children, right? Right. 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 She's like one of she's she's just an older child, right? Yeah. Dealing with, right? <laughs> and this is why when Job was going through that, and you know his woman was talking, like, "Won't you curse the Most High and die?" Well, he tell her, he said, "Man, you sound like the wrestling woman out there. You sound like one of those foolish women." Yeah, you should know right. better. Right. I, 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 I've been talking to you. I've been dealing. You should know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. yeah. If, 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 if I may add, and that's why you know when uh, we got married in the ancient world. She was always, she was given over from husband, from a father to husband. Right. So yeah. a woman really never owns herself. Right. And it was a shame in the ancient world for a woman not to have a husband. Right. You know, right. so a woman, a woman is, she, she's always supposed to be under ownership. That's right. But the brother Connor Knox says she yeah. technically is like your child. Yeah. Like you know, property. yeah, she call you daddy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She right. marries men that, 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 that may have characteristics of a father. Yeah. That's why she becomes. She takes your last name. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She, she's your possession. Yeah, I mean, you, you gotta, you gotta go pay. Because even when a woman, when a man get a woman, back then you got a virgin. You, you mm -hmm. build the woman onto how you want her to be. Exactly. Right. Yep. Hey, you know? Because really, when you, when you go to that word husband, a husband is, a, is really a farmer. Yeah. yeah. What does, what does a farmer do? He cultivates the land, right? He takes care of his, of uh, his, his crops or whatever. That's right. the same thing with a woman. I got, right? I got it. Uh, Sarah. Chapter 36, verse 24. He that get it a wife, beginning a possession, right. and help like unto himself in the pillar of rest. All right, same thing like what the Lord do. All right, we, we for the Lord. We the Lord possession. And look at it at a lower scale. Our woman supposed to be our possession. You now I have a baby like this, my toys. That would be your woman. Your woman not supposed to be everybody. All right, she's not supposed to be in everybody's face. No, she's not supposed to have um access to everybody. Or people not supposed to have always access, access to her. All right. Yep. The Lord told him. Uh, the Lord said he's gonna make a helpmate for Adam. Right. He said man should not be alone. You're gonna make a helpmate. Right. So you're a helpmate. You're supposed to help. You help me. Okay. That's what you were brought here for to be a helpmate. Right. Okay. Anything outside of that, it's up you. If you're trying to turn things upside down. Oh, oh that's in Genesis, right? Uh, that woman shall desire to rule over me, but he shall rule over you. Right. Dealing with Adam and Eve, that's it. Yep. When a woman was not, she steps out of order, this is what happened. Now we have sin on her. That's why all oh, women in America, our women especially, they can't pair a bomb with a man. Yeah. Because they. That's what I said. That being scientifically proven. Yes. Uh, they start having what? Well, they start having sex at age 14 in high school or uh, middle school. 
but then they don't want to get married until like they're in their thirties. So they got a whole history of of rods just being, you know, in her for fifteen years. Yeah, right. But then she comes to you and she tells you, oh, "I want to get married now after fifteen years of taking rods." And then that's why there's so much gap and divorce. Yeah, you, you got to be the sucker to put her in a white dress. Yeah, <laughs> you know. That's why oh. the Yahweh I speak about a, 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 an adulterous generation. Yeah. You see, for that same reason. Mm -hmm. Not only just spiritually, but physically. Right, and then you got and then you got their 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 their, their moms telling them to play the field to play the field. And why, why? They, they got raised by single moms? Yeah. And why 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 they telling their sons, <laughs> hey, you gotta treat a woman right? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Oh, love her. Why are they telling their daughters? Hey man, they they keep dating, keep dating. You you the and you know, yeah. you know what the, the, yeah. the cold word is for dating. Okay, they make they make dating sound so pretty. You know what well, dating means? <laughs> they know exactly yeah. what, what dating is about. Dating is effing around. Right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what is what is date? Date goes back to the word day, right? So like that. Can somebody look up the definition of date? Date. Dating. 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 Why is it called dating? What? Because this is a, this is it's just to make it sound nice. Yeah, so, 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 so multiple arrows going into the quiver. Yeah. Right. So, a woman, like, yeah. I just got to say real quick, yeah, so women can use men, because you know most dates, women don't pay for nothing on dates. Okay, every time you take a woman on a date, the men got to pay. Okay, and you dating this woman for how many months, they, you know, they speak about courtship. All right, <laughs> courtship. Now you courting somebody for a year and change. All right, you, you got to come up out of your pocket. Every time you see this woman, you got to come out of your pocket. It costs you. There you go. That's why there's no such thing as dating in the scriptures, right? It's only marriage. Uh, there you go. Uh, being betrothed and then getting married. There you go. I got you something for that. Yeah, you don't have the, the ancient world, a woman that have liberty to say, oh, I want this man, I want that. Right. It was, yeah, the, it was her father or her brothers. Right. And they was betting the man. They you just didn't give your wife to any man. Right. Yeah, right. have a daughter. daughter. You know, me, your daughter's daughter. Right. To any right. man. It was, it was ordered to that. Had, uh, the, the origin of uh, the origin of uh, date or dating. The origin of date or dating, and it says uh, dating is uh, the act or practice of having romantic mm -hmm. dates, having a romantic mm -hmm. liaison. Effing. Right. Right. And, uh, <laughs> right. Romance, what, romance what, goes back to Rome. We Israelites. Right. Well, what, what do they do after a date? F. Fuck. Right. <laughs> that my place. Right. 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 Oh, right. Right. Oh, we're, we're gonna split the bill then. <laughs> How many dates are in a year? Right. Multiple dates in a right. year. Right. I'm dating. I'm having multiple sex partners, man. That shit's wicked, bro. That's all we gotta destroy America, man. Well, well, it's really modern day prostitution. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Hey, let's back you up. When you take a woman out on a date, really, to be honest, you, you're paying for prostitution, you're paying for sex. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Because when you understand the, what was going on during the times of Rome, right. everybody was sleeping with everybody back then, man. Yeah, it's, it's legal prostitution. Yeah. Just remember, it's just called dating. That doesn't mean the woman is dating the same man. She could be da dating multiple people. Right. Yeah? He's all just money laundering it back to his businesses. Instead of giving it to her directly, you give it to just Esau's businesses. See, that's why it's Americans were set up that day, you know? Set up to help. Because when a man when a man gets a woman, that's why you know a woman's supposed to be a pillar of rest because right. one of the purposes of a woman is to help build up that man's estate. There you go. You know what I'm saying? So which is why you don't give a woman yeah, freedom because yeah, when you go into that word uh, uh, wife or a woman that goes into a female servant. All right. So while you're out there uh, growing your empire, you're supposed to be at the house raising your children. All right. Teaching them, you know, the way that the, the way that they should go up to a certain age. Right. But her purpose is in the house, man. Right. Her purpose is to be ruled by her husband, but uh, I forget where it was, where it says that the Lord's going to do a new thing in the earth. Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 31. Yeah. A woman, a woman should right. Jeremiah 31 and 22. It's the book of Jeremiah 31 22. It says, how long wilt thou go about, God, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. All right, so... That is what we're seeing, especially here in America, man. But the woman is put on a pedestal. All right, they give her all these benefits, and she's looked at as higher than a man. Exactly, bro. A woman's supposed to be at servitude. She's supposed to be serving her man. Right. Matter of fact, I got woman in the antimon real quick. Oh, yeah. Woman, it's an adult female human. 
um, woman, man, uh, all the it says a uh, woman, female, female servant. Right. Okay, she's but you know being you know a servant Lord. onto her man. Right. Yeah. That's her job. Yeah. Right. So when you go into that word, it's like, Okay. Even when you go into the word lady, you know, the lady of the house, right? Lady goes into a bread maker. Right? The job of a woman is what? I mean, they they say it, you know, in a, as a satire, but a woman barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen, taking care of the house. Yeah, and, 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 and woman, the word woman goes into female servant. Right. So she's had to serve, so a helpmate. Yeah, a helpmate. You know? So you can keep pushing, so you can keep building the empire so she can enjoy the conveniences that she's been enjoying right. through her husband, man. So at the end of the day, there is order. And when you try to go outside of that order, it just brings confusion. This is our 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashia, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashia is Yahweh. That's the order at the end of the day. Right? If you try to do anything outside of that, that's why the scripture said the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws. They transgress the Heavenly Father laws, and that's why the earth is defiled under these inhabitants. The rules thereof, man. The woman can't really rule. Right. It's not her nature to rise. So that's why you have monsters. These kids, they're monsters because the majority of them are raised by their mother. Yeah. A mother can't raise a man. No. That's a man's job. man's job. That's why you see all these weirdos that we call them GMO babies. Yeah. That's, why, that's why you got YNs and crash outs. Yeah. Because it was raised by their mother. Julio Fulio. Right. Yeah. Yo, too much emotion. It's a real man. I got a problem with you. No. Yeah. 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 Then accordingly, the woman. Ah, loud, emotional. Yeah. emotional. Yeah. Yeah. That's why a woman shouldn't be leading or be put in a position of authority because she doesn't rule with logic. And, and when you look at it, mm -hmm. now they're trying to they have Kamala Harris running for president. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Confusion. Confusion. That's what it brings. But, it brings uh, confusion. Yeah. Right. You have a mother, right? She had four kids. All her kids are fucking almost a Weirdo. Weirdo. That's because they, when you, when you, like, like, like the brother brought up earlier, when you give women liberty to get abroad, that's what happened. Look, 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 look what D Wade, uh, he, he not even standing up as a man. Look what he letting his woman do to his child. Okay? Right, that goes back to that Jeremiah 31 where we're passing the message. His woman is a fucking demon. Because he's not putting his foot down. He's not putting no, his foot down. He, he, he's he's, he's going to probably start his own. Uh, oh, yeah, he's starting his nail party. Yeah, he's starting his nail party. He, 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 he's a part of the problem. That's what no, I mean. He's a part of the problem. That's what I mean. He's a homosexual. That explains it. I got Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 22. It says, Wives. Submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Mashiach is, head, is the head of the church and is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Hamashiach, so let the wives be their own to slakia. So let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Alright, so yeah. It says, husbands, love your wives, even as Hamashiach also loved the church and gave himself for it. So, yeah, man, it's, it's order to this thing. Right. Uh, yeah, so it says submit. doesn't mean battle with your man. doesn't mean argue with your man. doesn't mean throw a damn knife at him or a chair. Or it doesn't mean kick him out of the house or go ahead and, and, and smash little Stevie because you had into an argument with him, man. Uh, yeah. Submit means actually uh, having your man put authority over you. Right. All right, but we live in a society where a woman screams at a man, but then a, if a man screams at back, back at her, she calls the cops, and then he's he cops come, and then now you're going to jail. Oh, you might end up dead. He he verbally abused me. He's controlling. Right. And then and then while the cops he's are taking your man away, he's trying to manipulate me. Right. And then while while they take while the, while the cops are taking your man away, she's there crying, saying, "I was lying the whole time, but now I got to I got to go to court." Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because he has is bugged out. Yeah. That's all them demons, all them niggas. <laughs> all them spirits, all them spirits. You got more of that, brother? Yeah. Hey, what's the, what's the, uh, the girl name that faked her kidnapping? Oh, uh, fuck, I forgot the bitch name. You know, the woman faked the kidnapping. 
Remember the black woman? I think it was something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember like, that. Yeah, Rihanna yeah. Or Christy. Yeah, the black woman. No, it was Christy. I think and they, and they Christy. found her ass. Like, yeah, they found her. Yeah. Because her boyfriend or some shit. That's the guy she wanted. Right. Well, fucking bug out, man. Look at that. I appreciate that. That's why I'm going to say, stay away from the woman. The Lord the Lord makes the Lord made it simple, man. Who's above the woman? That's the man. Alright. The Lord made it plain, man. It's it's even in the first book of the Bible. <laughs> you got it, brother. Uh, Genesis chapter three, verse fifteen. It says that I and I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and it shall bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. I said that right, conception. Like you said, the enmity was between the Israelites and the Edomites, the wicked and the righteous. It says, in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, all right. And he shall rule over thee. Yeah, so that's the reason why a lot of these women, uh, while well, women uh, have labor pains and uh, it hurts to have babies, because what happened in the garden? Right, right because they, they, they first, they was the ones to transgress first. All right, but there's not going to be no, uh, none of that pain and the uh, pain of deliverance in the kingdom, man, because there's not going to be no transgression in the kingdom. Right? For the Israelites. It is like women. Yes. Yeah. Your heathens, they're gonna have pain. They're gonna have pain. Right. All right. So. Hey. The scripture says, things written before time was written for our learning. Most of these women still don't get it in their head yet that why they go through certain things that what the brother's speaking about have been pain during pregnancy is because you jump out in the front of everything. The Lord set up Adam, all right, to be that priest in the garden, but you jump ahead of yourself, okay, and you did what the Lord told you not to do, therefore, this is why you have a period, this is why you, all right, I have contractions and of birth pains, okay, for what Eve did in the beginning, so you're still paying for that to the day, and you still don't get the point, that you got to let the man lead. Because the child's supposed to smoothly come out. No, right. no problem. That's right, right. You know, this child's supposed to smoothly come out, no problem. Right. And now women got birth pains, contraction. Certain women die in the middle of birth. Right. You know? Yeah. That's the curses. Right. You yeah. know? That's a curse that the Lord put on our women since the beginning. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can tell, you yeah, can tell that, that's from reality. Because you look at the, the animal kingdom, kingdom. Mm -hmm. when animals, mm -hmm. when they have babies, when they get birth, they don't have no pain. That's right. right. You know, which means that they're they're in order. So the fact that a woman, an Israelite woman, one soul is going through things because you know she went off. And, uh, uh, what does this what does this say? Uh, are you are you over the animals? Right. You know. Right. So you you know they don't go to go through pain. You shouldn't be going through pain. Right. But it's because you know we transgress against the Lord. Right. You know. I the book of Ecclesiasticus 25 24 says, Of the woman came the beginning of sin. All right, and we know sin is the transgression of the law, who was given to the nation of Israel. It says, And through her we all die. All right, so, you know, the woman, as we see today, is the cause of a lot of the shit that, you know, we're going through today, man. All right, she, you know, she, she can't get in order. She kicks the man out the house. All right, therefore, now you don't have a stable family. So now the kids get to do whatever the hell they want. They become killers, become beasts. All types of shit. You know, statistically, uh, what uh, population of people that's all in prison jail come from our single parent household. household right? yep. All these people you see is just single parent household. Because a kid, before he do some dumb bullshit, he gonna think about, damn, my old boy gonna whoop my ass. So maybe I shouldn't do this versus their mama. Oh, my, my mama can't take me. I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. All because, all because you thought you could raise the man, right. which is the man's job. And then you side, you side with your adversary to get the man out of the house because you wanted the goodies from the government. Okay, so yep. you 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 play part of the problem man, over the last forty to fifty years, and this generation we have now with these little uh, nigglets running around here doing what they're doing. Okay, who's to blame for that, man? 
you got some of them, they can't even get their, 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 their sons to do anything around the house. Yeah. Okay, you, you, if you, you, get, you get a dad on the phone, the dad just come on the phone and his son or his daughter got to go sit down. The mom right in the house and she can't get them to do nothing. Right. You see it, if you, if you have kids, you see it. When daddy come back, you know what I'm saying? It's a different spirit. I got to tell you. Yeah, it's that power, man. Down that attention. Yep. That is home. Yep. And that's what the woman craves, man. She craves that the, the power that that man has to walk into a room and dictate that shit. And she can't, she doesn't have it. I, was, I forgot what brother it was, you know, uh, he said he was having some issues. With his wife was having issues with his son. And the wife wouldn't, you know, the son would do nothing the wife said. But the moment he came in the house, he put, he put that, you know, he put the correction down. And he said he heard, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the back, in, the, in his ear, he heard the woman say, you understand what I'm saying, Jesus? Power. That power. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the woman, yeah. she envies that, man. And the fact that she knows she can't get it, she'll go to Esau Eden to try to get that power. Now realize that she's fucking up the whole household. Man. There you right. go. Yeah. Right, which, you, you know, with the women, you really have your own power. Your, your form of power is servitude. That's right. And raising the children to a certain extent. That's your power. Mm -hmm. You don't need to try to be the macho man. That's not your role. Yeah, you got your strength. Right. right, you got your strength. Your strength is to serve. All right, and be a good mother and, and uh, uh, be obedient to your husband. That's your power. Yeah. That's your superpower. That's why in World War Three. That's not enough a lot. for a lot of women. World War Three comes, a lot of these women don't go back to servitude. Yeah. They already don't. They said it already. Right. They said it. They said it in the memes. Right. Yeah. They, they said Remember that. 2020? Yeah. Right. They said they going back in the kitchen. Yeah. They already know. They already know, bro. Yeah. They, the same ones that said they want to be equal. They said, "Oh no, we're not going to wear it. We'll, we'll cook and clean. And we'll, we'll fucking shut up. Yeah. We'll do it." Yeah. Okay. It's too late. Yeah. Yeah. The niggas, niggas saying, oh, uh, "We don't need that now." Yeah, nah, I don't uh, want that yeah. Now. yeah, it's too late. All right. When the, when the time comes, they're gonna stop playing games. Yeah. All right. I gotta be careful. <laughs> Yeah, and we're not too far. Right, any, any moment, this shit can pop. Mm -hmm. This is uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 14. It says, I will therefore that a young woman marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. For some are already turned aside after Satan. Mm -hmm. Right, so the woman has their own role. Okay, to bear the children. Role. Right, like, an easy role. But it's beautiful. It's right. it's beautiful and easy. Me and I was just talking about this a couple months ago. Women, it's like women has the most easiest role on the planet Earth, bro. Right. All you gotta do is serve and yeah. stay in the house and be quiet. And, What's that right. song? And just do, you you got yeah. an easy role. That's just bask, bask right. in the femininity. Yeah. You don't you okay. don't you don't need to go to camp. You don't right. need to stand in the sun right. in, in the right. cold. Right. No. You don't need to really, you know, yeah. you don't need to put up lessons. You don't, right. work. You don't need to work, you know, uh, for the, you know, nowadays, you know, you got, you know, because of the curses, but you really don't need to do the things that a man right. got to do. You got an easy ass job. Right. You want to be out on the street barking like a pit bull, right. being cameras and shit. Bro, all right. you got to do is be quiet. What, uh, what that, you read in First Timothy, right? Yeah. Uh, you, that's chapter two? Okay. I got chapter two. Come on. Con, you know, uh, you, yeah, you got more? No, you got more. Uh, you sure you got more? No, it's not. All right, go on, Moa. Because uh, it tell you, uh, let them serve in sobriety, yeah, and they're going to get saved. Right, 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 right. They got an easy-ass role. You got it. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Yep. You're supposed to usurp authority over a man. It says, uh, that makes sense. Right. Cause he's not strong to me. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Like right. He's all just backwards and he's a bitch. Right. Because I used to work, he was brother, his brother, brother heard this, you know, deliver. I used to knock on the door sometimes late. Mm -hmm. He saw me in the back of the house watching, he had have his wife come open the door. You know what I'm saying? But that was back, that was always weird to me. Right. Why are you cowardly in the back and your wife is opening the door? Right. right. be the one that stepped in and front. Right. 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 And the children. And the so Esau's backwards. Yep. Everything is backwards. Yep. Like, he loves yep. the woman to be up there. Yep. Yeah, because he's, he's uh, wicked. Uh, verse, uh, verse 14, 2 Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14. It says, if Adam was not deceived, going back to the point we made earlier, man, these women then forget that they still pay for what they did in the garden, man. Yep. It says, uh, if Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. She was the one that was in the transgression. That caused death to come into the world. Yep. It says she, uh, she opened the portal. Right. So to, so to speak. Uh, to your point, to, uh, to the brother of Walsh's point, uh, verse 15, 
It says, notwithstanding. So in these times, if they get it right, right. if you are part of the elect lady, if you're taking heed unto the, 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 the words of the Lord, it says, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. Yep. That doesn't mean all of you. Right. It means those of you who are predestined for the foundation of the world. Right. The Lord chose you as a chosen vessel, a spirit to be delivered in these times. That's right. You're going to hear these words and you're going to adhere to these words and do the will of the Lord. That's right. yep. Stand by your man. Be a woman. Be shamefaced. Not have your face in, the, in your man face and acting like you 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 could you could you, you could swing your elbows or your, your fists at him or some shit because right. you know some of you women get down like that. Right. Yep. We gotta see. We gotta look at everything. We saw within the last couple of years the ship of men against women. You know what I'm saying? So imagine when these men are upset. All hell break loose. They gonna be beating these holes. Yeah, out. I got that preset. We're gonna get that. that. Yeah. We, got, we got that. It's shipping uh, that spirit. We gonna get that. Iron. Right. You, you can hold that iron. Get, get Jeremiah five. Uh, I think no four. Jeremiah well, four and thirty. Want it to be equal, right? Yep. Four and thirty, and then we gonna get it. Hey, that's, that's the Lord putting that spirit, bro. Yeah. Right. Because the, the 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 pedestal that woman had before, all right, is crumbling little by little, man. Power, the power is diminishing for the woman. Right. And, and, and it's, it's, some, it's synonymous with Esau's power. As Esau's power starts to wane, right. so is the power of the fucking woman, man. Yeah, there you go. Because she she, she 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 depends on this demon, right. all right, to keep right. her to keep her status up. There you go. Yeah, yeah. But once he falls, bitch, who the fuck else you gonna run to? That's right. right. Yep, yep. Uh, it says, verse fifteen. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. All right, that's all. Mm -hmm. If we continue in faith, all right, charity, holiness, all right, all the sobriety, you'll be fine. That's an easy task. That's an easy task, bro. In sincerity, that's easy, bro. Mm -hmm. You're doing it in sincerity, it's easy. But to keep it though, no, no, hey, I'm gonna put this out there. Noah's been on the ark. This woman had to do nothing, bro. His, mom, his, wife, his wife just needed to be there. She got saved, bro. She got saved. She just came. She just probably just walked up. Some water. Right. <laughs> right. What about she was like, "Don't worry about it, baby. Keep, keep fighting." You, <laughs> you, you <laughs> can, just like that. Yeah, you got it, baby. You can imagine how she right. felt on that yes. boat. Oh man. Huh? Yeah, bro. Yeah. With the waters. Just walk up. Okay, forty days and forty nights, <laughs> but she's on the boat. That's right. Yeah. Okay, That's and it's, right. it's 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 three sons and their wives. They're on the boat. What yeah. happened to everybody else, though? Yeah. Mm. Especially when the water, the water started coming down. Yeah. Like, you know she she <laughs> always, always have faith in you. Right. Right. King. Ah. Have faith in you. <laughs> you know she do it. <laughs> hey, the Lord is long suffering, but He'll make right. it happen. Yep. He's gonna make it happen, man. Yep. He gives you times to repent. So he's blameless at the end of the day. means you have to think like a god man right all right and, and yeah. god especially in our in the situation that in the position that we're in mm -hmm. our powers are out by shot right it says to put off now the weak nature put off, put yeah. off the weak because nature. what's coming to the earth that's why the scripture right. saying man's heart failing them for the things that's coming to the earth right we've been built up through the spirit that's why the lord have us here that's right. That's right. doing this because what's coming to the earth the lord have to give you a spirit to be able to deal with that bro that's right hey if i may back you brothers up you know so back all your brothers up uh calling out i'm one by and i'm one i bought that's why I was going to say, if a man can't rule his house, he can't rule the church. But it starts with the church, though. Right. You know, you know how to rule the church, you're going to know how to rule everything outside of the church. That's right, right. You know? Right, right. Because the church is in order. Right. These, these words are Yahweh Bashem Yahshai words. These words are in order. Right. So if you're dealing with the true church of God, by Shai, everything know how to rule outside everything of this is going to make you right. just going to be ordered. That's why that's why the scripture says, seek ye the most high first, right. and everything else shall be added unto you. Right. So right. you're seeking the Lord first, everything, that's why the scripture says, uh, wisdom making the mind face to shine. Right. The most high loving none that dwell with wisdom. Because when you're in this, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you're doing that, right. 
You know? But what's your favorite piece of wisdom is the uh, principal thing. Right? There you go. Principle. With all that getting, get understanding. That's right, and we can understand our ways, man. Right, right, right. How to, how to deal with our, uh, you know, the church and also how our household is. Right. All right. Also, we're going to put a prayer up. Hey, this is Yabashim Make me a better leader. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, we're going to need that type of wisdom in the time to come. All right, we're talking about the women. All right, think about it. I just talk about Isaiah 4.1. You're going to have a lot of women trying to flock to the men of the Lord, seeing that they're, they're going to be that uh, pillar of safety, that strong tower in those times. Right? Right, right. All right, and you got to be in the mindset, which the Lord is going to you know, do in due time, mm -hmm. where you know we're going to be able to um, delegate all these things, man, have these things in order. Huh. All right, you can't be... Uh, uh, regular ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. The regular ass niggas just gonna be thinking that, oh, all these women here are just for sex. sex yeah, sex, oh, sex. this is whole block. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, uh, it's gonna be part of, you know, brother. You 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 yeah, but your whole <laughs> mindset is, I gotta protect this, these people. You gotta lead. I gotta lead. Right. Right. That's why a lot of brothers be saying, like, you watch, like, start with the apostle on down, like, brothers always saying their lessons, like, yeah, Isaiah 4 1 is coming. But, but don't focus on that alone. Not, not only that, brothers be, be saying, like, bro, there's gonna be so much going on. You really not gonna be focusing. On, sex right. not gonna be the main thing of your brain. Right. You gotta take. You gotta lead a, a, a flock of people. Right. You know. Yeah. You, you have all right. sorts of women, old, young, children. Yeah, right. You gonna have Lord gonna have old women probably coming away Bro, hey, uh, to help delegate the little kids and shit like that. You gotta a, be ready to deal like that. A child mom probably died because she was a demon. Now this child can't shut the fuck up. He keep crying. You you gotta you gotta yeah, find you, yeah, yeah. you gotta find one of these women out the line. Who who knows how to. Breast, right. Breastfeed this baby, baby so you can be quiet. Right. 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 Isaiah 4.1 is, goes far deeper than just having yeah. sex. Right. 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 That's yeah. a carnal ass mentality, right. which is going to come with it. Okay. But you don't want to be in the spirit of uh, concupiscence. Yeah. Which you, right. All, right. You right. Do, all, exactly. all you're doing right. is just desiring fucking sex and lust. No, right. man. But it's beautiful because the Lord is going to show you that you're a man of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, and then you're going to have to show these other people that are with you how to you know do certain things and how to actually operate as a judge right. and, and within the midst of all hell breaking loose yeah. at the same time right, right. right. while all hell is breaking loose exactly, while people bro. are dying left right. and right while women are screaming children are screaming running around trying to figure shit out man right. but the lord gonna put the spirit upon his men to be able to guide and lead there you go. Right. Right. That's, that's right that's right that's right that's why the scriptures say in the day of thy power thy people shall be willing yeah. they, they, you see like how they're taking long to move now in that day they can move as you talk because yeah. they know the law working with you you know what move, i'm saying move or get left right. there you go or go out in the wilderness right. stand without right. yep. you're gonna get put out if you're in, if you're in an order right. yep that's all, like all that's all we start off with a man shall be a hiding place for the wind right right from destruction hey i had to I had that preset yeah that. Let's let, let's let the priest flow. Right. It's the book of Isaiah 32 and 2. Matter of fact, yeah, 32 and 2 says, And a man shall be a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, and as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So let's, let's break this down. A man's going to be a hiding place from the, uh, from the wind. So automatically we know for, for those of us who, who desire that Isaiah 4 and 1, there's a certain mind state you need to have, man. All right, you can't you can't have the mind state of, of folly. Yeah, man, man, all right, let's read Isaiah four. It's Isaiah chapter four, um, four, verse one. It says, "In that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by that name to take away our reproach." Right. So now, what does that woman have to see in you for her to make that statement? Right. Is she gonna see a man who she sees with men that, that somebody eat your a great power is dealing yeah. with that man. Because you're going to see a, see a uh, spirit. What's the light? You see a light. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be illuminated. Illuminated. Or, right. or is she going to deal with a, with a Negro with his, with his pants hanging down his ass, right? right? He's trying to run away from whatever adversity. He's trying to run away and he's busting his ass and shit. Nah. You're going to see the boldness and courageous. Okay. Why this man, everybody else is skinny and small. Right. He's, he's at a good weight. Right. Right, right. And why he's so confident? Why he's not scared of this? Right. He's not scared of right. that? Right. Why are all these people following him? Right. While, while other men are looking bunked out. Right. Yes. Why? All, why is other men following him? Right. And that goes into what covert? Because when you're talking, when you talk about a covert, you're talking about cover. Right. right. When you're talking about cover, that means whatever is covering you is getting all the heat. Whatever, right, whatever's right. coming, whatever that you're standing behind, right. he's getting all the impact. 
Right. You see what I'm saying to you? So right. that's that's a matter of more because when that time comes and and, it, and he has to deal with that adversity, he's gonna know how to deal with it. He just read the Isaiah, right? Yeah. It says that when what, what does that when that when goes to destruction? Exactly. Destruction, yeah. judgment. Right. Judgment. Okay. So a man, Lord is gonna be able to preserve. Right. All right, from judgment and destruction. That's right. Okay. Yep. You know how that boss man did little song said, "Get in with me." You better get in with a man of the Lord, right, right, all right, right, so you can be able to escape the, the trials and uh, tribulations that's coming. Right. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. That's yep. the true, uh, we're going to uh, high value man. Right, high value, right, right. 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 So you're going right. so right. to so understand that it was not about money and, right. Uh, right. you know, and status of this world. Right. It was really right. him engaging in wisdom. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. Him forsaking this world to... You know, gain, you know, run after Sophia. Right, right, right. The fashion of this world passes away. So all of these things are going to come to knock. Right. You know, fiat currency and all of this kind of stuff. Yeah, right. We're going we, we, we go into an uh, uh, age where those things are disappearing, man. Right. You know, everything's going digital to bring to pass the Lord's prophecy, prophecy right. of the MOTB. Right. Mm -hmm. Where it's going to be a trial of all the people that dwell on the earth. Yeah. But the Lord said he's going to give his men the spirit to deal with that. Right. The Lord right. say, uh, 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 what's that, Revelation 3 and 10? Because, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. He said, I will keep thee. That means you're not keeping yourself. It's the Lord that's doing it. Right. He's going to give you the spirit to, 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 to what's the scripture say? Uh, he, he wouldn't give you more than you can bear. Right. Okay? The Lord knows what you, your measurement, what you can take and what you can't. Right. He knows. Right. Hey, so real quick, finishing up on Isaiah 32 and 2. It says, as the rivers of water in a dry place, and as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. All right, mm -hmm. so the men of the Lord, we're gonna we're gonna be that shadow. We're gonna be that place where you can actually rest, man. Yeah. All right, you're not gonna have to have to work. Oh, oh, oh. No, man. The heavenly Father's gonna be dealing with His elect men. Right. And he's gonna put a spirit upon them, what to do to do His will. Hey, some of us might even get some spiritual power. No, all right. Some right. Some right. 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 Matter of fact, all, all brothers will get spiritual power in a sense, whether it be old. You know, the Lord, you know, because he had to think about it like this. The Lord will give you spiritual power in a sense where you're going to be able to withstand all these things that you're about to see. Right, because a, a, a form of this knowledge is spiritual power. Exactly. Uh, wisdom yeah. and knowledge will be the stability of that time and strength of salvation. That's just how it is. The Lord is power. Right, right. And who's going to have that wisdom and knowledge? Right. right. The Lord. Right. What the Lord is going to do, he's just going to, you know, turn up the notch. Uh, that's, that's, that's basically what spiritual power is. Right. It's, it's uh, faith, you know, uh, being able to manifest in itself. Right. The Lord going to just turn on your faith, your, yep. your, your down tone. Right. Right. That's what it is. That's why he said with faith you can move mountains. Right. 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 So you're going to be able yep. that's, that's going to be spiritual power. You're able right. to stop. Are right. you able to teleport? You're able to, you know? Mm -hmm. What Lord said, when you come as a flood, right. the Lord is going to stand up for standing. Right. right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I wish I said a lot of the miracles he didn't do in that faith because of the lack of faith. Right. Right. It's going to be healing. Yep. Some people have, they probably had a pestilence. So yeah. 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 But uh, Isaiah 4 1 it says, I was going to say, you never know, it's brothers like multiply food, you know what I'm saying? I was shy there. Right, right. He's going to do great. Greater works than Greater works than Yeah. That's yeah. spirit, too. Yeah, yeah so, yeah, and, you know, going back to that Isaiah 4 1, how it says, A man shall take hold of seven women. It doesn't say a woman shall take hold of seven men. So the man <laughs> shall take hold of seven <laughs> women. Right, right. Better you know what. <laughs> that's right. Key words, you know, because. That's, that's really going to show that, you know, who really is the man of the Lord, all right? Because the scripture says the tabernacle of the Lord is with men, not with women. Okay, so that day, you're going to need a man of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai to protect you, man. Okay? Because what? The Lord is going to send his angels out specifically to those men. That's right. The, the angels of the Lord, all right? Uh, get Daniel 12. Uh, it says the angels of the Lord, they're going to be protecting the men of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, man. And it's gonna be looking so obvious and, uh, and 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 so so simply that these are the men of the Lord. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be known, bro. It's gonna, gonna be known, known man. Uh, what's a good precept too? It's Job. I got Psalms thirty-four and seven. Go ahead, go ahead, do it. Okay. Uh, Psalms thirty-four and seven. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. That's it. So they, the what they, the angels of Yahweh Bashim Shai protect the men of Yahweh Bashim al Shai because why? We feared the Lord when we needed to. Right? Yeah. We had faith in the Lord when we were supposed to. Man. We served the Lord before the evil day. Right, we right. served the Lord before the evil day. Like oh, the brother just quoted it right now perfectly, man. Okay? 
We didn't wait till last minute like a lot of these damn two thirds about to do. Yeah, you know, some brothers gonna come last minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, scripts talk about yeah. that too. Still got some? Oh, go ahead. Okay, come on. Joe, the fifth chapter. Our right, first uh, 19, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. There's Jacob's trouble, all hell breaking loose. Yeah, in seven, there's no evil touch thing. In seven is what? It's a good thing to exist in this one. Right. The legs are be going up. Right. Right. The moose are coming down. All right? It's a chariot, which you really call you at troubles. 20. See, this, 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 this view should be, a picture should be, uh, uh, you know, coming in your mind while I'm reading this. All right? 20. In famine, he shall redeem thee from them. Right. And, and, and in war from the power of the sword. So we're going to be keeping the leg. Right. All right? Through the sword, from famine. Right. And those are the plagues that's going to be coming on to modern day Egypt. The plagues are for the wicked. Right. All right, now we're going to be in it. We're going to go through it. We're going to try our, our faith. Right. All right. But we're not going to get the brute end of the stick. That's right. how the wicked of our, and the wicked of our people are going to get it. Yeah. All right, 21. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge mm -hmm. of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. See, you're not going to be afraid. Right. Mm. Let's yeah. spread the logo, put on it. But you are, and it starts now because you already know that the Heavenly Father is bringing it. Right. Right. So are uh, we going to be bold in your eyes? Like the Lord, keep us. Right. 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 Keep us from this. Right. Right. So we're going to be giving praises to the Most High. Right. Right. All right. And the yeah. Lord's going to put a spirit up on his boldness. And those men are going to they're going to be getting persecuted by Esau. Yeah. All right. Because, you know, we are here on camera, you know. Uh, so those that's going to be cast into prison and some of those are going to be beheaded. The Lord going to put that spirit of, uh, of fearless in them. Right? Uh, they say that they should not like, they should not like, uh, it's a revelation. They should not love their life on the devil. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. right? Yep. Uh, at destruction and famine, they shall laugh. Neither shall they be afraid of the beasts of the earth. So we're going to be laughing at famine and destruction. That's the spirit that the Lord's going to put on you. Right? Yeah. You're not going to even be scared of the beast. You might see a Leviathan. They show them all the go, right. You know what I'm saying? Go get them niggas. Right. You're going to be in league right. with it. Uh, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, thou shalt, and thou shalt visit thy habitation and shall not sin. We're going to know that the Lord is dealing with you, man. Right. Lord yeah. keeping you from all type of snares and traps. Esau got set up. All right, you see a big ass alligator. He look at you. He just keep moving. Mm -hmm. yep. That's why you got to call on their names. You call upon the names. You got to be right. now. You got you to be in that high place now. Mm -hmm. Now you got to abide in the secret yep. place in the Most High. Shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Right. Can we say the the, the the name of the Lord is a strong tower? The righteous run into the night safe. It's going to get bad out here. Right. Bro. We yep. need a protection. And, and, and it's right. A lot need. of people don't know that who, who's going to there going to be a, you know, protect, a protection. Mm -hmm. Who's their protection? So right. But we know, the Lord gave us a, we know that Yahweh Shema Shah is our protection. That's right. We're going to run to him. Mm -hmm. I need you. Just ask David. David, every time death was right. at his dirt step, I continue to pray to the Most yeah. High. Yeah. To deliver me, deliver me. Right. Bumper shot, bumper shot. Mm -hmm. I got Psalm 91 real quick. Psalm 91 and verse 9. It says, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thy dash thy, thy foot against a stone. So the brother, to the brother point, man, the angels, the angels constantly working there. They they going they gonna preserve the elect, man. That's why you're going to Daniel 12. That's right, that's what I got. You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it out. Right, right with it. Yeah. But hey, remember it was beautiful to talk about the woman. Right. Now we're talking about you men. Right. Right. I'll repent and come back to that before because it's, yeah, it's order now. Right, mm -hmm. right. All right. So man ain't to be right, so his household can be saved. There you go. Yeah, yeah so you can sanctify your household, man. Your children, your wife. And the woman, the woman who's doing what they gotta do, they gonna follow along around that same circle. Now, all right, the man doing what he gotta do. All right, he gonna get protected. Man. Uh, this Daniel chapter twelve verse one it says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standing for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Lord gonna have you know um spiritual intervention. Man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be bad out here. So we're gonna have to have the angels on our side. Right. You know what I'm saying? Be human. So we not be we might not be able to see who's on the other side. 
You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. some brothers, before he saw come, you know, and knocked on the door, uh, try to get you at 3 o'clock in the morning, yeah. brothers going to have an angel probably tell you a couple of hours to get out of here, get your clothes and go. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. So, hey, you need to be able to even understand that, too. You got to be listening. Listen, right. listen to the spirit. Right. If you don't, you're gonna die. Right. Listen to the spirit and, 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 and turn back to, to the scripture where the Lord say, you know, the scripture say things written about that, written by learning. The Lord say, he who who, who please that is on the house stuff, don't come right. down. Yeah. They that are in the field, don't go back to the house. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For example, with um, Lot, mm -hmm. he right. just came and, and uh -huh. get out of here before we, you know, the destruction of all Sodom and Gomorrah. Right. Hey, what did that woman do though? She she back. Back. So she got the order. Right? Because she got the, they got the order from the um, right. angels. Do right. Right. The right. Back. right. Momentum for the teeth. I want to uh, highlight too. It says, "Dude, that day, Michael the archangel shall shall stand up." Yeah. It doesn't say, "Now Tyrone shall tote the M16 and the AK47 and the Draco, and he shall be saved." Oh, they don't say that. They don't say. Now Jose shall tote the Glock 36 or whatever it is, and he shall be no. It's gonna have to come down to spiritual intervention, man. The Lord is gonna have, cause you need to be written in the book of life. All right, your name has to be written in the book of life where the Lord says, all right, that's my elect, man. And Michael the Archangel is gonna be sent from the heavens to protect you and give you that divine protection, man. All right. This is a spiritual warfare, man. This is not a carnal warfare. So a lot of you men out there. I can go into not a man, right? A lot of you men out there that think that a gun is going to protect you during those times, you're completely mistaken, man. You got the Lord twisted up. All right? If you try to go up one on one against Esau and his weapons, your ass is grass. Hey, that's, that's really low level thinking, bro. That's low level, low level mindset to have to, to even think, all right? To even think that your your guns have might against what, you know, Esau has. Man. Okay? He got, he, he knows. He got, he got the SWAT, he got all types of artillery and shit like that. And you think your little gun's gonna protect you? Hell no, bro. You know, he really don't even gotta knock out your door, he just drive the tank through your house. Right. You know what I'm saying? He, he, Esau, Esau got it, got it. We're gonna, we're gonna say something. We're gonna say something? No, that was me. So Esau has an unlimited supply of bullets. I mean, they, it's sword. That's the message. That's what is his sword. All right? The Lord gave him what he got. All right? right? But at the same time, the Lord gave us him. Right. All right? The Lord gave us, gave us him, his name. All right? He'll tell us what to do, man. Right. right. Yep. And, 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 and there's, there's a level to Esau's weapons, man. All right? Because what? It started off with the sword, right? The dagger. And now what? He got the death of the older sword, which is the gun. But then he also got a sword that you can't see it coming. These are ultrasonic weapons, man. Lasers. Biolog weapons of biological warfare, man, that you can't see. That you can't see coming. Yeah. Silent. They got a microwave gun. They got a, microwave, they got a heart attack gun. All right. Because, man, if you go, it, it gets deep into that. But that's why we need the Lord to protect us, man. We need Yahweh yeah. Shalom Shai right, right. So, So, for right now, Esau have the advantage. Right? That's but the that, Lord is going to turn the tide when he gives his men spiritual power. So, his, his weapons ain't going to be no match. To those weapons, the, 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 the energy with the law going to be right. used with his men. Why, why not be friends with the person who made this simulation? Or who right. made this, God. you know, who made this, uh, the judgment that's coming. He made this wrong and he knows, uh. he knows where he, he can, uh, where you can pass by and not fall in the ditch or get any harm. Right. So why not cleave on to the, the power of Yahweh Shalom Shalom who's bringing this judgment? Yeah. Yes, he's going to guide your feet. Oh, don't go there. Don't go there. Right. Right. That's the mindset. I'm, I'm gonna lean upon. That's my big saying. Keep me yep. from that that sword. The, you know, the wicked man, the evil man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord have all of these plans. No, I, I like to give the Lord. Yeah, uh, go, 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 go. I, I got a title. Um, I give to the Lord sometimes. Um, I got it from. Uh, I seen a mug. It said chaos, chaos director. All right, the Lord is directing all these things that's being out right now, man. Are mm -hmm. you gonna be on His good side and good graces? Yep. Like I say a lot, good graces. Director of chaos and director of salvation. Man. Right, this is this is the heavenly father that we're talking about. Man. Right, how about you know, shot? The book of Hosea 4 and 6. It says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I'll, I'll also forget thy children. And this is going to be the state of the two thirds, you know, especially the men who had the opportunity to get this truth, man. All they did was protect the Heavenly Father. 
okay? And we're going to see what's going to happen to your family in those days, man. We're going to see how much of a protector you're going to be for your women and for your children, man. Did you really love your family? Right. If you really loved your family, you would have came to this truth, right? Hey, because a woman, she has a power, especially if you two-thirds men, man. You, you, you weak, soft-ass motherfuckers, man. Your woman has more power over you than, than the Heavenly Father does, man. All right? So when those times come, man, hey, look, the first thing you're going to think about is, man, I, I got to save my girl's life. Right? Not, not realize that she's going to be the first one to, to, to give you up. The first one to go for the microchip. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can go get it. Yeah. You better go get it before we can eat. I got it. Why you ain't going to get it? Right. You know you ain't going to get this box, right? <laughs> yeah, and, and, and it's gonna Tell be obvious it. too. <laughs> it's gonna be obvious too, man. That woman's not, cause all you, all you men that worship women, and you can't go a day without trying to satisfy a damn woman. Going out of your wits, going out of your wits for a woman, going broke for these bitches. All right, you gonna see where Jacob's trouble come if these women gonna save you or not. Yeah, especially you niggas that talk about the woman is God. We don't see how godly she is in that day, nigga. Right. Yeah, because you know Jay likes to call women goddesses yeah. and queens. Queen. Somebody like queen. yeah, yeah. queens. Anyway. They are queens. The yeah. Lord is gonna show you that she was a fucking whore, right? Yeah. Look, look, look at what the word queen means, man. All you jakes out there that call women queens. Look at the queen bee. <laughs> yeah, look, 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 look. Like I said, right. 12, as for my people, children are their oppressors. Yeah, well, and women means. rule over them. What is that? High school. All right? <laughs> oh my people, they which leave thee cause thee to err on earth. And destroy the ways of our past. Yep. So there's going to be a lot of people make destruction in the time that's coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oppressed because of children. You're going to be oppressed by your children and the woman. Yep. She's going she gonna to look, look to you. Hey, save me. Help you us out. You're going to do nothing? Yeah. nothing? Go get us some food. You're going to let yeah. us stop? Or are you supposed to be in order like, man, hold on, man, I'm going to praise the most high. He's going to guide our steps. And yep. life, there's going to be chaos going on during that time. So <laughs> he go, he may not come he back. He may not come back. Mm -hmm. See, he said, his brother said, he gonna, he's a um, man, Lord. They're like, hey, they going to pray to the most high in, their, in those times, have him so the Lord could come through. If the woman real, the woman real she she going she gonna to stick by and believe in that. If she, if she not, she's just going to walk away, bro. Mm -hmm. Yup. Okay. And, and if they don't, cause a lot of these Jakes too, man, they, they look at to the woman for uh you know, an outlook, but also they go to Esau for everything. Yeah. So we're going to see whether Esau is going to save you during that day too. All right? Because the only person that's going to save you, man, is the Lord. All right? But it starts with, with you, Jake. It starts with you repenting and coming back to your power, man. All right? Recognizing that you can't do this by yourself. Recognizing that you're under the curses, man. And knowing the times that we're in. Also, man, you got you to gotta examine what's going on around the world too. All right? A lot of Jakes, man, they be just be too stuck in their damn shell, playing video games all day, eating shit, man. All right? Living in that... In a, in, a, in, a, in a state of, of, of mirth. Yeah, yeah, that fucking, uh, what's the nigga name? Kai Sin. Yeah, that Kai Sin. That Kai Sin. Yeah. Yeah. niggas, that's how you know Esau's so bugged out. You know what I'm saying? Esau gave them niggas money to make money. These yeah. niggas are millionaires yeah. just by street. Yeah. Niggas agents, man. Yeah, a lot of them get set up. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of them get set up. Fucking high speed demon. You just yeah, want to fucking goof speed. all, all mean, around. Aiden yeah. Ross. Yeah. He's the head, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's a fucking, that's a, that's that, uh, fucking, uh, Somebody clown joker like spirit, man. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, yeah, fucking being a gesture. Yeah. Dancing yeah. and cooling and shit. And you know, the young niggas think that shit cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because they put, they, they put money, right? They, they think the shit. If you get the, the person that got the most money is the man that has the most power in this society. And that's what these young jakes want. They want that power. They want that money. Why? Because it brings about women, man. But at the end of the day, all this shit is love for women, bro. Okay, everything is that. Go to that. Go. Yeah, go to the part of the story where it says, "Uh, men go out their wits." The woman. I, I got a piece of it. Okay, do you have that? It's uh, Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, Roger, be women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. Ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you, make you bear, and gird, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. All right, so hey. Spirit of limitation, warning. All right. All right, but you, hey, the Lord will take all, all that support you got under your feet, the Lord just gonna take it off. He's gonna just fall on your head. Yep. Don't swipe the rug on you. Uh, you don't want to be humble. Uh, you want to be proud. Yep, yep. You say you want to share my thing. Oh, first, 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 first. I just the book of, uh, somebody else got some. Yeah. 
with the book of first Nazareth, chapter 4, starting at verse 26. It says, Yea, many their beat have run out of their wits for women and become bondmen for their sakes. Bondmen. That goes into slaves, slaves, servants. All right, instead of a woman serving you, you're serving a woman. A lot of them that's in jail are incarcerated behind a woman. Yeah. Or a lot of them that's dead by a woman. Yeah. A lot of hood beef is about women. Yeah. Right. Like, um, what happened to Shah Ira? See, because that, that's, that, that's what a uh, 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 wicked ass mentality does to you, man. Because if you try to go out of your way for women, oh, let's get on. Oh, woman, uh, okay, Verse 27 and I, uh, second, first Ezra's 4, 27 says, Many also have perished, have stumbled, and sinned for women. What's up? 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 Right? He didn't. He didn't take heed to his woman. Look at Job. Job, Job still kept the faith, man. Right. They didn't fold into what the nature of a woman does, man. Okay, but that's what Jake does, man. Jake goes out of the way for a woman. That's why they broke. That's why they incarcerated or dead, six feet deep. All right, but that's why the Lord said there's an order, man. You gotta, you gotta seek the Lord first, and all these women will come unto you. Seek the kingdom first. Don't see these women, man. A lot of these women are used and abused. A lot of these women, man, they have, they have mental issues. They got daddy issues. You say it's just your turn at that time? It's just your turn, bro. Your time, you know, bro. Your the thing time. is, you could be in love. You could be in love with her, but on this side, don't be in love with her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're in love with her, you make more emotional decisions. Some, somebody get um, don't give that strength to that woman. I wish that way to destroy King. Baba Kishaw, I'm gonna get that. But you got some real quick? Yeah. You know, this is dealing with Solomon. This is 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 1. But King Solomon loved many strange women, together with the daughter of Pharaoh, woman of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidians, and Hittites, of the nations concerning what the Lord said unto the children of Israel, ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you, for surely they will turn away your heart after their gods. Solomon cleaved unto these in love, and he had 700 wives, princesses, and 300 concubines, and his wives turned away his heart. Wow. And it was not because he had all those wives. He started worshiping that God. He started yeah. into right. all those That's why I'll read again, because in the beginning, there's a point out there. You can flip it to that was philosophy. Say he had many women. That could also be philosophy, too, when you go into Proverbs. All right, right. Consider, consider a woman as well. Go ahead, read from the top. Yeah, this is the point I want. Uh, this is the book of 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 1. But King Solomon loved many strange women. A strange woman, a strange woman. Okay. Yeah, they're different okay. philosophies. Yeah. Belief systems. Right. Belief systems. Belief systems. But you know, they're it's talking about women. Right. Right. But the king go he sinned right. because he started worshiping their God. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. It goes into different philosophies, different belief systems. Belief belief system. system. Well, well, that was the point. I wanted their thoughts. Right? You see, women in the scriptures, even with uh, Revelation 14, all right, they were uh, they were not beguiled, roughly paraphrasing. They had the they had the hundred percent truth, right? Right. It was in the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Exactly. So they were not defiled by. The, the, right. You know, the, the file are tainted by the philosophies of this world. Right, because mm -hmm. if you want to go into it, if you want to be technical, the scriptures even call wisdom a woman. Yeah. So, you know, that's what it is, man. You know, with, uh, like certain women, even in Proverbs, it'll be different philosophies. Yeah, women you know? can sin is also the same right. woman. Right. Different yeah. philosophies. Mm -hmm. right. which, which, you know, that that sin that Solomon had, it was cleared away when he came back as Yahweh Shai. Because uh -huh. right, he came back perfect. Because Yahweh Shai knew that he was Solomon in his past time, in his that's past right. life. That's why I said he had so to die for his sins. Right, that's, yep, yep. He had to die for his sins that he did in Adam. Right. right. And he right. said, why you calling me good? There's nothing good but the Lord. Huh. All right, so, so he, 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 he came back straight. <laughs> All right, guys. He's okay now. Somebody got that. Oh, you got something? What, what preach have you wanted? I got the problem. I got it. Okay. Got it? Proverbs 31? I got Proverbs 5. Go ahead. Yeah. It's Proverbs 5 and 1. I got the one that's saying. It says, My son, attend, attend unto my wisdom and bow thine ear to my understanding. So you got to attend to the wisdom and knowledge of Yah by Shemal Shai. Right. Now, that means regard discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as in honeycomb. 
her mouth is smoother than oil. Mm -hmm. But her end is bitter as water, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, and her steps take hold on hell. All right, so it may sound good to your flesh, but the end, the, the, uh, the end of it is what? You know, death. Right, uh, Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 3. It says, Give not thy strength unto woman, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Right, so that, that's twofold that the book was going into, man. That's for well, physical women, all right, and also these other uh, philosophies and, and pseudosciences and, and all these weird doctrines, man, that are also considered women. All right, because that does what? That gets you drunk off all these other philosophies, man, and, and deters you away from the Lord. All right, because you're supposed to be focused on what? The scriptures, man. So all these all these doctrines, all these bugged out doctrines that Jake is in, man, they're destroyed, man. And all these other actual women that Jake is following and Jake is worshiping, your ass is destroyed too, man. All right, but that's a twofold thing. That's like you, you as a man, you need to stay firm, all right, in the Lord. Not stay, not stay, uh, you know, chasing around all these other different um, wicked ass philosophies and doctrines, man, and all these wicked women too. All right, because there's a way that an Israelite man supposed to be operating in these last days, man. We understand that only the elect are gonna be operating in that specific way, in that manner, in that conduct. All right, and all these two thirds, man, that know you Israelites too. Some of them, you know, y'all know you're Israelites. There's nothing but death, turmoil, bloodshed, destruction that's coming to y'all, man. All right, because you. Because y'all don't want to repent and y'all don't want to become real men and y'all don't want to turn off your loins, man. Because you're scared about what your family's going to tell you. You're scared about what your wife is going to tell you. You're scared about what your job is going to do to you. But that means you lack faith yeah. and you're not right. Yeah, you lack faith and you lack understanding because right. you're all going to be jobless. That's right. Some of us going to be houseless. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it is. Why, why not? Hey, Lord, you have to lose a job right now. I know the Lord's going to probably give me another one. That's what faith goes into, right? Oh, you gotta, fuck, you gotta not brother. care about okay. your desires or how people are gonna look at you for doing this truth, but fuck them. Right. It's about y'all about Shimon Shah. Right. No, See, you really can't bear that now. How you gonna handle right. your mom, your family coming against you? How you gonna handle it when the whole world is against you? Right. You say you should be hit by all this <laughs> for my name's sake, right? right? So that's why the Lord is putting the spirit upon us now. Be, let right. our forehead be hard against their forehead, right? right. Don't give a yeah, fuck so about their opinions or what they think. Actually, no, that's fair enough, man. Talk you, you have the truth, and that's what should keep you and, and a baby. Right. Right. Yeah, cause, cause we, we, go ahead, go ahead. We, we sign now, but we're going to laugh later. Yeah. But a lot of y'all, Jakes, a lot of y'all women too, all right, y'all are laughing now, trying to live it up now, but y'all going to cry later, man. Either you pay now, and, 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 and you cash out later, or you go in debt now, and you stay... And that day, and you get destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1 says, Remember now that Creator in the days of thy youth, <laughs> while the evil days come not, nor years draw nigh, thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right, so remember the, the Creator now in the days of thy youth. Lord, now, while you're in your, while you come back to the Lord now. While you are still in your ability to do so, while you still have the chance to repent, okay, while you, while society is still fishing, while you still got the internet and still be able to travel, go up up and down, all right, you can still meet certain brothers, while you still could have charity with certain brothers, fellowship with certain brothers, man, okay, get in contact with the men of the Lord while you can, repent, okay, before what the evil days, what it says before. You know, remember now the creator in that days of you, while the evil days come not. Right. Yeah. yeah. Before the evil days come, before there's death, famine, destruction, all right, the sword. Okay, judgment. Because all that is coming, whether you believe it or not. But repent now, come back to the Lord now, so you could be able to escape those days. Alright. Like we, we say it all the time. All right, we. I mean, we're, brothers say like we sound like a broken record, but that's a commandment from the Lord. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. For hundred years. A, this is a song. We're singing a song. All right. Here, I gotta fix it. Right. We're singing the song, that's, and only the yeah. lectures gonna know the words of the song. 
It's gonna be a broken record. We gotta teach the same thing right. over and over. Right. Don't you niggas keep listening to the same song? Nah, you know, yeah. to the point to the same song. Over. Same over. Yeah. Hey, to the point to where they can tell you every lyric in that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's true. <laughs> okay. Yes, don't be hypocrites. The, the, the Lord, the Lord, in the Bible, see, the Lord is repetitive. The Lord deals with a lot of repetitiveness because why are people are stiff necked? Yes. <laughs> it's stubborn, man. Yeah, but here's the thing which, which song really matters? <laughs> this is the song, song that really matters. <laughs> the song by Death. There you go. And the song only 44,000 will be singing. Uh -huh. The only they knew. <laughs> I think you got it, sir. You got it, bro. The book of Revelation, yeah, chapter we'll 14, down. starting yeah. at verse 1. All right, all right, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to hit two points at the same time because we're talking about um, different belief systems, you know, going into uh, how King Solomon also sinned mm -hmm. by dealing with different doctrines. Oh. And uh, Warsaw has brought up a point on how, and the truth, wisdom is, is called Sophia. So even within the truth, the wisdom is, 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 is a woman, okay? So it's Revelation 1, uh, 14 and 1, it says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount of Zion. Right, and that lamb is your shot. Yeah. Okay, and with him the hundred and forty-four thousand having his father's name written in their foreheads. Now that mount also represents the ruling body. Okay. All right, the governing body, not just the governing body, but of that governing body, the hundred and forty-four thousand men. Yes, right. Yeah, right. the governing body. Right, right. The governing body. Right. Twelve thousand of each of tribe. Each tribe. Yeah. And it says in verse two, and I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, as the voice of a great thunder, and I and I heard the voice of the harpers harping in their with their hearts. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne. Mm -hmm. And the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the 144,000 men. That's why the apostles have that attitude. The nigga can't get it. Moving you're on. moving along. That means you're not part of the left. Right. Yeah, here, we're really, you know, right. we're here prophets, we're here prophets in the nations of the world, but for the, the, you know, for the real, the truth is really for the left. Remember, the men. That, and that's the song, that's the song that truly matters. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, what's that song? What, what, what does it say? It, it shall be no longer, no longer said that uh, the Lord delivered the children out of, out of Egypt. Jeremiah, uh, the, the, the Lord and the man of the north. Uh, man of the north. Yeah. Right? And in verse 3 says, as it, And they sung a new song as it were before the throne, before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. All right? And that song is his truth, man. We're singing that song right now. All right? And, you know, and Lord Wooler, we keep singing that song in perfect pitch. Okay, but it says, these are they which were not defiled with women. All right, now is that talking about an actual woman? No, because we have men, you know, we have men in our, in our, in our uh, sanctuaries that have wives, that have women. So it's not talking about an actual woman. All right, it's, it's going into the different belief system, the different doctrines, philosophies, the, the philosophies, and ideologies. the ideologies of these different nations, right? And this is where we find King Solomon going off because when he took on these strange women, it's okay to take on a, a woman from another nation, but you're not supposed to follow their gods, man. Right. All right? So he fell in that particular situation. Uh -huh. But the 144,000 men, we're not going to be given to, you know, uh, 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 doctrines, other doctrines, seducing doctrines and things of that nature. Uh -huh. All right? We're going to stick to what was taught to us at first. Uh -huh. We're going to be perfect. And we're going to be perfect. Okay? So, you know, um, just going on, I, I, the point's already made. For they are virgins. These are they which follow them, whithersoever he goeth. These are redeemed from among men. Being the first fruits unto the Most High, unto the Lamb. So that goes to tell you also the 144,000 are the first fruits, first fruits, man. Right. All right, we, we were the ones, Lord, when we be a part of that number that was with Yahweh Shai. They didn't want to train them. Okay? All right? All right. I got to appreciate the back of the up. They were virgins, meaning they were not defiled by these other philosophies and doctrines, man. This this was, uh, this is our first love right here in our own love, man. This gospel is true. Right. That's why, you know, the Lord just you know, symbolizes it. Like you said, they have all white. Yeah, right. Right, like right, Mary, right. A woman, they have all white when she's there. Mary. Symbolizing symbolism. That's all it yeah, was. You just got to be able to decipher. The Lord got to have the Holy Spirit behind yeah, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. 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 Preparing for the wedding. Right. Yeah. And that is verse 2 and verse 5. It says, And in their mouth was found no guile. Right? Because the scripture said that we have the function of the Holy Spirit right. and we know all things. Uh, no, right. God, no lies. No lies. The truth is 100% the truth. All right? We're not going to tell you either might be making it into the kingdom. Uh, all right, we're not going to take on the Sabbath day. Yeah, you can deal with your woman the way you want on the Sabbath. No, man, we're going to tell you the truth according to the scriptures, man. Right. And, and the doctrine is not continuously being changed. Right. Like, or the right. All right, like I said, verse 5, once again, in, in their mouth is found no God, but they are without fault before the throne of the Most High Power, man. All right, and, and, this is, and this is specifically for you women. These you need to be looking for because these men are going to be that covert, that cover, all right, that, 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 that tower 
of the fist from, from all the errors are going to be shot during the time of Jacob's trouble. Yep. All right? And we understand that you're not going to have that mindset until you start seeing the shit for yourself. But as for the men of the Lord, the Lord is preparing us right now, like the brother said, the brother kind of left. He said the Lord is preparing our, are making our foreheads hard against your foreheads, man. He's preparing us for that. He's giving us the right state of mind to be in. I'm trying to back you up, showing you how, uh, you know, the, 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 the 144,000, they ain't going to be beguiled by seducing doctrines and, and things like that. Uh, this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 14. It says, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. So it's saying to continue in the things which thou have learned, and knowing of whom you have learned them from. Okay? And knowing from a child, man, you, these scriptures are able to make you wise unto salvation. The, 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 the 144,000, they're not going to be, they're not, they're not going to be seducing doctrines, man, nor the elect, because the scriptures tell you how, all right, uh, 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 if it were all possible, they could uh, deceive the very elect. But it's not possible for you to deceive the elect, man. It's not possible. Because the, the elect is going to be guided by the spirit of Yahweh Bashi Shah. That's right. You see? There's a, there's a spiritual over overdrive going on in the elect, man. Because this, this, this word is a, is a light. You know, it's a light. Right. So within all this confusion, that there, there's darkness and confusion, yep. you're, 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 gonna be, you're gonna be able to see it, right? All right, and not be able to, you know, fall in those temptations. Because the spirit is what quickening you. Right. It's the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited not the words of that speak right. unto you. They right. are spared in their life. Right. These are the words of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. He comes in the volume of the book. Right. You know, wisdom and knowledge is the in our time. Right. You know what I'm saying, Lord might test you. Might go a couple days like here, right? Right. Saying brings a swine. Oh, you know, oh, Isaiah says, so he's going to kill people that they eat the swine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these things got to come to mind. You might be hungry as hell, you know what I'm saying? You're like, nigga, bro. But you got up. What? The Lord got me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Lord said that I knew thee before I created you in the womb, man. So to say that, oh, what if, not, not all 144,000, what if all 144,000 will not make it? Are you saying that the Lord doesn't know what he's doing? Yeah, you basically said the Lord don't got control. Right, yeah, the Lord's not in control. But, but that's the faith that we got, man. That's the faith that we got, because we believe in the scriptures. Uh, we bring them out, but we truly believe in the word, man, because that's that's why we are here. That's why we are here, because we're not out here because we're just, you know, just bored and we got nothing to do on Saturdays. No, man, because we believe that right. the Lord going to deliver us, and then we believe that everything that's written there is faithful and true. All right. And, and, that, that, and we believe in the names, man. Like, and it's also that fear. That fear, that faith, no, that's oh, all. Matter of that, fact, that's right. Now that, that you can break down that Ecclesiastes. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Mm -hmm. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For Most High shall bring every work into judgment, with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. But the whole the, the, um, the point is, you got to fear the Most High and keep His commandments, keep His ways, keep, you know. You know his path, man. Follow what he right. know asks us to do. So in for maturity, be a brother. You know, prophesy to the nation, warn our people. Okay, constantly a hey, doing this, not only on Saturdays, all right, and right. throughout the week. Yep, because that, that's how really you start developing wisdom for the Most High. Because the beginning of wisdom is the fear. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So in order to start having wisdom, all right, you need to fear the Lord, man. You need to have some sort of a uh, 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 healthy fear of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai because right. you're going to need the Lord, all right? The Lord don't need you. You need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right. okay? And that's a commandment, man, to fear the Lord and keep all His commandments, okay? That's a commandment yeah. itself to keep the commandments. Uh, so you're fearing the most high, right. right? You're building a relationship of understanding right. yeah, what He likes and what He doesn't like. Yeah, yeah. Right? So I'm going to try to do things that He don't like. That's why you say keep the commandments. Right. I'm telling you what, yeah. what I command of you to do. Right. Right. Hey. I'm gonna say and so too we we know we know um what it's gonna say or you know we see his judgments of those who don't or do the opposite of right. what they're telling of what the Lord tell them to do. 
All right, that's fair, man. I ain't trying to get jacked up. I ain't trying to do this because I ain't trying to get jacked up. Yeah. You know, because, you know, judgment is, it's going to say let judgment flow as running waters, man. Judgment is constantly happening day by day, man, second by second. All right, that drive of fear it keeps keep us on the right path of seeking out by Shimon side. We come out here because we fear the Lord. Point, point, point blank. Yep. All right, point blank. Because we try to be in good grace of Yah by Shimon side, and we try to be those that in a death and famine thou shalt laugh. All right, thou shalt have abundance. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know, all the way to hey, I'll come up hither. All right, it's that fear, bro. Yep. And it's and it's gonna and it's inevitable that the world is gonna know that when all these plagues come upon the earth, and especially Babylon the Great. That it came from the Most High, the Creator. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then everybody gonna know that who Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is. Okay. Especially you know times that we come in there, you know you saw it represent death. You know. Mm -hmm. What we gotta understand that the Heavenly Father has more power. Right. All right. Yeah. We got to fear Him to keep your body, and, body and soul in Him. Yep. That's right. That is scripture saying. Now, at the end of the day, also, if you want to put the devil, you got to understand that every father gave the okay for Esau to exactly. right. yeah. So it's all through the power of the heavenly father. Yeah. So don't, don't, you know, oh shit, I, I need to save my life. You're going to lose it. Right. There's no right. point. It's, this place is ending. Right. So, okay, get a badge of honor or die, right. die in three hours by Shemar right. Shai and be the first one to listen up. Don't we believe in your house side? Your house side overcame death. Right. All right? Same thing. The Lord going to beam up, you know, take care of his men, man. All right. We have the understanding that death isn't the end of you. You know, the law, the law gonna raise up. You know, you'd be the first to go into the chariot if that be the case. You know. But I have an example real quick on you know the Lord destroying a, a, a place or bringing judgment upon a, upon a place, and, and the Lord still preserving His men. Okay, just the book of uh, First Kings 17, from that verse one, and it says, and Elisha the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead. Or Gilead said unto Ahab, As the Lord of God of Israel liveth before whom I stand, there shall not be of dew nor rain these years, mm -hmm. but according to my word. And to the word of, uh, of Yahweh, or the Lord, came unto him, saying, Get thee hence and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Sherit, that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord, for he went and dwelt by the brook of Sherith that was before Jordan. And the ravens brought him food, or brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening. And he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Arise ye and get to Zerub. So for the most, so what we're sitting here is the Lord bringing judgment upon the land, right? The prophet being in the midst of the judgment, uh -huh. okay? Right. But the Lord is preserving that said prophet, right. okay? He's protecting him. Why? Because he's putting him in a place that's incognito. He's putting him in a place where nobody, you know? He, he, he was there until the brook dry. Right. And the Lord fed him and took care of him up until it was time for him to do something else, man. Right. And these are the times that were coming. Because remember, this whole, today we're talking about judgment. All right? And we're talking about the wrath and the destruction that's about to hit Babylon, a.k.a. America. And what state of mind you women need to be having out here, man? And who the Lord's going to be dealing with in them days? Because your average so-called Tyrone, your so-called Negro, ain't going to be able to protect you in them days, man. Your poo-poo's and your ray-rays, when that, that, that danger comes, right, they're going to be the first one to head the opposite direction. Yeah. They're, they're going to be running faster than you. But the men of the Lord are going to be standing stiff in them days, man. If I can add on to I was just to say the mighty men are going to cry bitterly. Bitterly, bro. That's your, your Green Berets, your Navy Seals. Your snipers. Your snipers. Okay. So the Lord ain't going to have no pity on, hey, the Lord ain't going to have no pity on you, especially you women that think y'all can right. just, just by batting your eyes and showing some thigh, that's going to get, yo, man. We don't need women for that, man. We need women that's going to be in order. Yeah. All right? Shut the fuck up yeah. and do what the fuck you're told. Yeah. That's what's going to bring you salvation if you endure if you continue, because if not, that man that you went has a, he, he, he say, get, get the fuck out, keep on moving. And you now you become the prey to the rest of the world. Yep. So now, take into consideration what we're saying. Take into consideration, look at what's going on in the world today. Are you safe? We saw during the, the, the pandemic, women were getting raped in broad daylight. 
I was going, nah, I was going to add on to what you said too, because when you when you think about it, because you guys mentioned Noah and his his wife, hey, his sons and their their, their wives got saved through their sons. You know, you gonna need a man to get out of this. Through obedience, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Obedience. You gotta listen. Yeah. Do what you're supposed to do. Be yeah. a woman. Ecclesiasticus, a so up two and ten. Um, going into uh, you know, was reading Elijah. The Lord kept him. All right, so Ecclesiasticus two and ten. Look at the generation of old and see if ever any trust in the Lord was confounded, uh, or did anybody in the spirit was forsaken. Uh, All right, or who did he ever despise or call upon? Him? All right, so we look at our forefathers and we see every time they they call upon him, he he defended them, he protected them, or he delivered them. All right, he never put say. So when you in that predicament, are you going back against the wall? You're supposed to meditate on this and the Lord, not right. forsake me, I'll call upon his name. Right. He's not gonna despise me. I'm doing, I did the will of that. I'm doing the will of the father. So that's the, right. that's what you're supposed to be thinking on, you know, right. when you when it's looking tough. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You gotta exercise your faith, man. Yeah, that's right. right. And that's what it is. Our faith work gotta, gotta be exercised. Yeah. We gotta I'll be shown. We gotta be shown to the world. All right. These are the elect. Them that stood stiffly for my name's sake to yeah. confess mm -hmm. my name. Yeah. Yeah. You see, they was bold. Even in the time of affliction, they still believed in me. Mm -hmm. They still had faith. They was yeah. not moved or swayed by any trouble or turbulence. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, brother. Which that that cuts this uh this uh. Rapture doctrine that Christians talk about. But that's another Hey, we're gonna see, hey, we Christians, right. we're gonna see how yeah. they, they do uh, get delivered. The Lord will deliver you before, yeah, before all hell break loose. You're gonna be safe. You're gonna be all up in your little nook, right? Protecting it. Everything else is gonna go to shit. You're gonna be up in your say He did dirt to the edge of the safe. Right. Quick three. Too much tribulation, so I need to get in there. Yeah. Just, just to back up on uh, what you were saying, you know, look at the generation of the old. The only way you're going to know that is this, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, right. that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right. So reading these stories, you know, reading these scriptures is, is vital, it's important. Right. Why? Because this gives you comfort, it gives you hope. Right. You know, hey, Daniel was thrown in the lion's den, and the Lord had an angel it's grab right. Habakkuk by the head. And, and, and bring Daniel food. You know, reading these scriptures, they give you comfort and it allows you to know that, okay, hey, if the Lord did that for a, a man of his, hey, we're men of the Lord too. So the Lord will take care of us too. All right, so now if we go into faith, it's the expectations. Yep. Right. I, I was just about to hit it in the head. What level, of, what level of expectation did Daniel have for him to be in that situation where he's surrounded by hungry ass lions, right? What was his expect? What level of faith did he have to have in right. that day? Right. Hey, right. it's a Remember, it was a decree. Yeah, that's the decree. He, right. he still prayed. That's right. faith. Yeah. That means he knew the decree. He was part of those. He was uh, high and all. You know, high and rank. High and rank. He was yeah. in the king's, he was in the king's uh, court. You know. Right. He, knew, he knew the, the, uh, the consequences. The, the consequences. And, and Daniel also knew through the spirit that he served the true and living power. Yeah. Yeah. He, he knew that. That's why he went and and, and, and kneel as he uh, usually did three times a day. Because he know he was praying to Yahweh Shem El He's praying to the right power. You know he understood that. You see, just like King David, when he the things that he was going through, King David understood he was dealing with the true power. Right. He knew this. Right. And what did he say? He said, "I'd rather fall into the hands of the Most High than right than the hands." There you of go. Him. Another another count that come to mind is uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Right, right. They didn't follow the king's commandment. Right. They they, they right. say they ain't gonna, they, they're not listening to, to your commandment. We, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna stand by the ordinances of our Lord. Right. You know? They stay firm from the Lord. Oh, that's, so you gotta think about that. Put it in. What's the time that's coming in? Right. right. Oh, them bringing the chip. No, they ain't taking the chip. Mm -hmm. Lord said, you know when I do take the RFID to the marks of peace, when he put the death. Yeah. So even, even if your head is in the guillotine, all right, you still believe it's just an anti no matter what. Let me fix it. Let me fix it for you. Yeah. So yeah, I don't mess up the machine. Hey, bro. <laughs> I got quick free. This is what I was talking about, Daniel. This is book of Daniel, chapter six, verse ten. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being open in his chambers, in his chamber towards Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his power. 
as he did aforetime. Not only was there a decree written for him not to worship, nobody to worship no other power, but he did, he worshiped Yahweh Hashem Yahshua in the open. His windows was open. So you could see that he's praying three times a day. That's how so much trust that Daniel had in the Lord. That's how so much faith he had in the Lord. And when you go on that word trust, you know, it goes into insurance. That means you, a, a, firm, a firm trust. You got to have a firm trust with the Lord. Look at King David. You know, look at King David's faith. Look, take King David's trust in the Lord as an example. Abraham. Abraham. Right. King David went through, how many times Saul tried to kill King David? Lord got him out of the jam. Every time something went wrong with King David, what did he do? Call upon Yahweh by Shemiah And that's the mentality that we have to have. That's why that scripture is written. Look at the generational order. See who called upon the Lord and he didn't answer. Roughly paraphrasing. That's why that's there. Even a child, when a child is young, he's, he's like if he sees himself in danger, the first thing he does is call his daddy. Daddy. Exactly. Mommy. Right. Daddy, mommy. Right? But we know, we, we being the men, you know, you let me like Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, Lord willing. First thing we do when we get in trouble, we call him the Yahweh Shai. Uh -huh. right. We know there's right. power in that name, because you know a lot of camps don't teach. They teach, they teach other names, man. Yeah, no, that's yeah. You're gonna be able to see that. You know what I'm saying? They're Jacob Trouble. You're gonna be able to see that. Uh, the, the, the difference of calling upon the name, you know, the true name, and believing, and those that are playing with the name. Right. right. Yeah, you're gonna see a difference. You're gonna be being delivered while the motherfuckers getting yeah. all done. You, right. you even see it now. The, 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 the bitch that got shot. Well, who she call on? She called on JC. What happened? Got her ass did up. Hey, bros, is it this modern day Egypt? Yep. Didn't did it eventually Pharaoh's his, his sorcerers their magic yep. stopped? Yep. All right. Because because the right hand always going to prevail from the left hand. It's way man. stronger. It's way right. stronger. Left, man. left hand has to live. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's what you go. They was able to do three. I think it was three or four. I think they, they, they stopped that. Uh, they did the snake. They right. did the frog. And they did the blood. I think they stopped. What, was it locusts or lice? Locusts. Locusts? They did the frog. They did the frog. They did the blood. They did the blood. Or was it boiled? I, I forget. I forget. Snake. Frog. 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 Yeah, man, you know. But you know, the point that I brought that out is because the brother made a great point. You're going to see the difference between when we call upon Yahweh by Hashem Al-Shah and people try to come through the lights. Yeah, lights as a spirit come. They're going to try to call upon JC, all right, uh, uh, Buddha, whatever. They go, ancestors. The ancestors, they're going to see the downfall of them. Okay? So it says, oh, they shall call me, but I shall not hear them. Right. So there's gonna be a lot of crying, a lot of waiting when those times the Lord's not to deal with y'all. Right. The scripture also say that uh call upon your gods in that time. Yeah, so you, right. So you, that's what they was do, able to do with the frog. Right. Like, come. And the reason why the Lord said in those times, call upon your God, because the Lord knows that when all hell breaks loose, you're gonna try to call upon me. Right. So the right. Lord said, no, no, no. When, that, when that time comes, no, call upon your God. Because no, I know how you niggas get. You right. serve who you were serving that God, so why are you calling me? Right. right. What you calling me for? Huh? I mean, you're a hypocrite. You're a slimy, dirty, dirty, you know, right, 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 right. Right. Those snakes trying to, you know, trying to hop on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, that, 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 they sorcery, the law gonna put a stop to it. Huh? Then they, they, they sorcery ain't gonna be working, man. And that's what you said, stand down without a chance. Stand down with commandments. Mm -hmm. Isaiah the 47 chapter. But well, this is uh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 3. It says, And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. But then, them, them stuff ain't gonna be working in these times, man. Right? Nope. You know, the law gonna put a stop to those things, man. Okay. So they, 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 they idolatry ain't gonna continue to work. Nope. That was and our, and our people are heavy into what? All that astrology and all that BS. Yep. Yep. Okay. All, all that yep. Paul yeah. Green and all that, the Santeria and all that bullshit, man. But let's see whether those enchantments are gonna be able to that save you during the time that's to come. It's saying for the cut off Esau at a point in time. What the fuck is a low level going to be able to tip? I think a low level going to be able to tap on it? Nah. Mm -hmm. Snake going to cut off Esau. I got that. Right. Okay. Uh, you got anything? Uh, All right, my guy.
I got real quick. Isaiah 47, Look at verse uh, 12. It says, Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly pronosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. So at the end of the day, them things you can be able to, 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 to help right. the wicked in these times, man. Right, because Esau has his witches and his warlocks, right? Throwing up all type of incantations, thinking that's going to help, you know, his, his fucking enterprise. But that shit's going to help me, Esau. Yeah, those witches right there, man. And over here in Babylon, which this is a, a, a paganistic ass society, all right, it's going to be shown that who the true power is. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon 14 and verse 12. It's like you, uh, uh, Eleven. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation. So the Lord gonna visit these heathens' idols, man. And he's gonna destroy them. And you see that shit back in 2020, these heathens was destroying their own idols, man. You know. Alright? Because in because in the create because in a, a creature of the of the Most High, they are become an abomination, a stu a stumbling box to the souls of men, and a snare to the feet of the unwise. A lot of people get caught up, uh, uh, uh get caught up with them, man. All right. Go to the Elamite countries and the first thing they go to those all uh, they worship. Right, right, right. Right. They right. worship something different. So why the fuck do you even pretend to that? Right. <laughs> that's how you know they bugged out. Right. That's, that's they their God. Out, they grew, right. bro. But the Lord wanted to destroy all that Eiffel Tower, right? Yep. All that Eiffel Tower, all of this, that's where people go. They go to these different countries and they worship these. Right. Oh, look at the Eiffel Tower. Yep. They, you know, they don't believe in the Bible, bro. Right. They, they, go, they go to, uh, they, they work, worship, uh, 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 what's this? The pyramid and even uh, that niggas had kind of a blood shit. The lady, uh, Lady Liberty. Yeah, they, 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 oh, they, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. worship Lady Liberty. They pagan, bro. Right. Cut. <laughs> Twelve. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication, and the invention of them, of them, the the corruption of life. For neither were they from the beginning, nor shall they be forever. All right. So the Lord is going to destroy these idols, man. Yep. Okay. They're not going to be forever. Real soon, they're going to destroy them. All right? But by the vainglory of men, they entered into the world, and therefore shall they come shortly to an end, man. All right? So the Lord is going to put an end to these idols, man. All right? These idols that you Israelites serve, man. Okay? That have ears, but hear not. That have eyes, but see not. So fucked out. A right. Man, a man made it. Right. A man made it. You know he took, you he, worship you more greater than that idol. He, he took... Bro, if, if you were just dancing in your house, right? That's in your house. You just, oops, your your idol breaks. I don't, I don't die. God, your, your God died, bro. You know. Basically, the most high, Yahweh Shai, is gonna be esteemed. Yep, that's right. God, they're gonna know that he, he exists. He is. Right, that's right. Hey, they gotta whip that during the pandemic. These Elamites are throwing them fake ass gods in the in the trash bin. Yeah, they believed in those shit for years. Right, right. Because they, all the people were dying and shit. Like, what, what, what is my God? What is my God? They hit me my children. Yeah, bitch, because your God don't exist. Right. That's why you know the plagues of Egypt. You know when when the Lord did those things, it was strategic. Yeah. Because they believed in the water god. Oh, god. They believed in the sun god. Oh, god. They, you know. Oh, so when, you when they seen all these things. Maybe you're going to see. Yeah. They worship the Nubians. Right. Dogs. And why the Lord destroyed? Like you said, it's ridiculous. Destroyed it now. Maybe you're going to see. They was bugging out. I got a piece of though. I got two actually. Bring it up. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 115. Uh, it's one of them. It's one of them, I bro. I got to start from the top. <laughs> it's, it's not not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy true sake. Not on the time when he trips to the Lord and said, he'll do something for his name's sake. Yep. Right, because the people was always going off, man. Yep. So he says, I'm going to do it for my name, because I said I'm going to do it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, verse 2, wherefore should the heathen say, where is their God? But our God is in heaven. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. 
Their idols, idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They, you see, the work of man's hands. They create. I, how you, I, how, the, how you create your own power? That don't make no sense. But that's how you know the heathens are uh, envious. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? The envious is it Jake C and say, Oh, wow. <laughs> Fascinating. Oh, I, my God is in heaven, oh, but I want to. I, 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 want, I, want, I want the God. You know, that that shit wicked, bro. That's why Jake, that's why I look like, man, he's envious. Right. He's even, like, you got a true power. Right. All right. right. All right. So y'all want to, y'all don't be against yourself? Y'all are going to go work. Y'all going to be beneath the heathens, and you're going to worship their God. Cool. Right. Here we are in America now. Right. Yep. <laughs> Psalm 115 and 5. They have mouths, but they speak not. They Eyes have they, but they see not. That's fair. I was just about to speak on that. That is fair, bro. <laughs> they, they have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They make they that make them are like unto them. So is everyone that trusteth in them. All right. So. Those that make them are dumbasses. All right, yep. and those that trust in them, you're dumbasses too. All right. Yep. <laughs> hey, look, look, look! What happened the, the day gone? When they put him next to the Ark of the Covenant? Right, he thing. kept falling. He kept falling. They, he slipped. He was slippery. <laughs> it's like who's pushing him? Yeah. He's touching him. <laughs> right, he kept. He kept slipping. And then I think they found him with his head off. <laughs> yeah, man. Every time he came in, oh, he got, man. He got judged. <laughs> that boy was a, a drunk walker. <laughs> Uh, what, what was that count? I think it was uh, Bell and the Bell Dragon. Yeah. You yeah. keep eating the food. Yeah. 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 Alright, look, you know what I'm saying? Put sand on the floor. Are you, yeah. you reading it, right? Oh, Bell and Dragon? Nah. You're not reading it. Nah, nah, it's Psalm 15, right? I'm reading Psalm 15. Okay. But, uh, because you're talking about idols too, real quick. That's the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, verse 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. And I will destroy the council thereof. Spirit, I just read that. Bro? Oh, God. And, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits into the wizards. And I'm going to read it in the NLT. It said the Egyptians will lose heart and I will confuse their plans. They will plead with their idols for wisdom and call on spirits, mediums, and those who consult in the spirits of the dead. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. These idols is not going to save you, man. These idols that you people look up to, watch. Watch when the day of the Lord happens. Let's see, let's see your idols deliver you. Jay worship with money, guns, women, cars, Jesus. Right? Yeah. Money, cars, all that. Je Jehovah, Jehovah, right, Yah. They're going to have a Bentley. Yah. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and let's see, yo, yo, Yeshua will save you doing that day, Playboy. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I had a precept to show that now. A lot of these guys, going back to ancient times, man, you know, they were, they were created by the hands of men. Yeah. All right, these guys really don't have power, per se, Right, unless the power you give. Right, you know exactly what the brother said. Except for the power that you know a person may give them. So it's the book of Acts 19 and 24. It does. Uh, it does yeah, we got like it. three, two more minutes. Yeah. It says, "For a certain man named Demetrius, a silversmith, which made silver shrines for Diana, brought no small gain unto the craftsmen." So you have somebody that would that would wield a piece of wood to make it look like something, and then you had the silversmith who would now overlay that thing that was carved with silver. And they would take that that thing or that idol and they would sell it and make huge gains. Yeah, okay. well, like today you'll see a boat, a monk. Right. All right, you elephants. Right. Um, people, Chesi. Chesi. Right. The cross. Right. right. And it says, whom he called together the workmen of like occupation and said, sirs, you know that by this craft we have our wealth. All right, which, mm -hmm. which gives you an insight to these different religions and these different, all right, these people that push out these religions, they're doing it for the fucking money, man. All right, so moreover, you see and hear that not alone at Ephesus, but almost throughout all Asia, this Paul hath persuaded and turned away much people, saying that they be no gods, which are made with hands, so that not only this our craft is in danger to be set at naught, but also that the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised, and her magnificence should be destroyed from all Asia and the world worship. And when they heard these sayings, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of Ephesus. 
But the point being is that these gods that exist today, that existed back then, are no gods, man. These gods are created by the hands of men. Yep. And the whole purpose as to what? It's for gain's sake. Yep. Okay? To get you all fucked up in the mind so you believe in a whole different deity. Okay? So they can make money off of it. That's and, all it is. And, and, you and think those gods are going to save you in the time of wrath? Look, look, look at the people that believe in the Buddha. What are you doing for y'all? And those gods are back here today too, if I may add. Alright? This is worship in different ways, like Mother's Day, Easter. All, right, all that is paganism, man. All that is wicked, man. But the Lord's going to destroy all that. That's right. The Lord's going to completely confound all you wicked-ass Israelites and you wicked-ass uh, heathens that think you got it all figured out, but you don't, all right? And it's going to be manifest in who the Lord's chosen during these last times, man. Okay? That's what the Lord said. So, uh, anybody got any last precepts? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, that's it, Oh, oh, no. okay, so with that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rekak Badash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone that rule well and taught us this truth. Right. Salutations to the whole for the elect, Yahweh Shai's elect, 144,000, preaching this truth and this gospel with all wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and sincerity. All right, little wood in this camp was edified to the brothers and a few sisters that watch. Keep praying, keep, keep staying edified, all right, keep staying strong, keep enduring. Come down, Shalom. 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 Shalom.